we got Orpheus O2 and Unicrest U2 in our spider web. Welcome to the spider web. I am back with an unboxing. An unboxing with dual layer bays. And these dual layer bays are pretty cool. Especially the Orpheus because man is Orpheus from what I've heard. Probably one of the best dual layer bays. So I'm pretty hyped to open this one. I ordered this pack from Amazon if you are wondering. Let's take a look at the back. The Orpheus spins to the right. Comes with the D10 disc which is arm. And the driver comes with TD01, which is defense. Unicrest U2, attack type. Energy layer, spins to the right. Forge disc is D14, which is upper. And the driver, TA07, which is jaggy. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm really liking these bays. I know I didn't actually use them just yet, but I'm just really liking them. Alright, let's go ahead and open them then. I had a lot of trouble getting this driver out, but whatever. All right, we got a good look at the parts. Let's go over them. We shall start out with Orpheus O2. Now Orpheus looks very cool, very cool. Like, man, look at this. This looks like it's a pretty defensive dual layer. Like, you have the smooth edge over here, and I guess over here as well, like the front. Wow, it's kind of rigid, so I'm assuming when an opponent hits this part, it's supposed to be like more of a damage deflector type of thing. Like, same for back here. Man, this guy looks tough. Kind of reminds me of Trap Tune in a sense, but if it was a defense type. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I look at these little gray lines that are supposed to represent a harp. So that's pretty cool. Like, man. Wait, I think all that plastic is supposed to represent a harp. Like the lighter plastic, like the clearer one. Huh. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I think I can. I, th I think I'm getting this right. But yeah, they put a lot of effort into this. Like for a dual layer, this looks really good. Like, wow. All right, there's the QR code if you want to scan it. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have Armed. Now, Armed, nowadays with all the wide layers and whatnot, it's very outclassed in terms of like competitive play. And even if you're gonna use it like just casually, if you want just like fairly decent bay, I don't think armed is actually the way to go. It's probably one of the lower <laughs> bays or excuse me, lower discs out there. However, um, it's okay for like a dual layer. Like, let's see. Yeah, for a dual layer, it's okay. The only thing is it does leave Orpheus kind of exposed like in the middle here. I don't know like, it's kind of like a gap thing. That's why I don't like about arm because the way how it's curved down like this, it leaves gaps in like a lot of bays. So it's like probably not even the best one to use, even with dual layers. It's a, I guess it's an okay pick for for Orpheus, but I think it, like they're gonna. Put, I mean, I know back then they didn't really have a lot of frame compatible discs or anything, but I'm thinking maybe like spread or something <laughs> instead of this. And now we have defense, and defense is decent. It's pretty decent. Um, this wide outer layer is supposed to like help it like not. I mean, I guess not necessarily wobble too much, but it help reposition itself after it gets knocked over or knocked off balance. I think it kind of works, but at the cost of stamina. So this is not stamina heavy driver or anything, which makes sense as a defense type <laughs> driver, but. Um, I've seen other like better defense type drivers like Atomic, and maybe even Orbit, <laughs> but yeah, even so, this is not a bad driver to have. Definitely not bad, especially for Orpheus. All right, let's go ahead and put this whole bay together. Ooh, my gosh. Okay, the slopes are good. They're pretty good. Pretty good. That's really good to see. Yeah. Either that, either the slopes are good or the springs is good. It's probably both, honestly. Hopefully this doesn't burst way too much, but I don't think it will. 
We got Unicrest U2. U2. <laughs> Look, they even have a horseshoe there. Yeah, Unicrest looks pretty cool. Like, I really like this. You can see the horse. Or, I guess not horse, it's a unicorn like shape. But yeah, there's the horn. There's the I in there. You got the U, which is like a horseshoe. And then you have this as well as the U, I guess. I don't know. This looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ooh, I love the glitter effects under here. All right, there's the QR code. Man, this looks cool. The slopes look good on this as well. I'm really liking this layer. I don't think it's the most competitive at all. I mean, even in terms of dual layers, I don't think it was really the greatest. Maybe, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. We shall see during the test battles, but yeah. Next up we have Upper, and of course, Upper is not really the best of discs. I think even on a bay like Unicrest is probably not the greatest. Now, it probably is a bit better than Armed for the sake of not leaving some, like, such huge gaps, but... In the end, it's kind of just meh. But then again, this is dual air times when these just were out. So maybe I'm a little eh about them just because I, I, I'm just like just now getting these bays after so long. But yeah, I think for a dual air, it's actually pretty decent though. At the very least, pretty decent on Unicrest and such. So yeah, now we have Jaggy. Jaggy is a pretty decent driver as well. This whole bay pack screams decent. <laughs> Outside of the Orpheus layer. I think the Orpheus layer is like the best thing out of here. But anyways, yeah, Jaggy, pretty good driver. Decent, pretty good. I probably want to say it. Um, it's kind of, it's like semi-aggressive. It's not way too crazy aggressive, but in a sense that's good because it doesn't run out stamina so much. But at the same time, it still has mobility. That's what I like about it. Now, of course, there might actually be better drivers for that. But I won't say this driver is bad. It really isn't. Uh, hopefully the spring in is good. I think it's okay. Let's put on this bay. Uh, yeah, the spring in this is not really the greatest compared to the one in the fence. However, the slopes do feel okay. I think the slopes are okay, but it's just a driver spring. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah, both of these dual air bays look really good. But enough of that. We gotta go to the scale and Unicrest fell over, but that's okay. All right. Orpheus, 7.68 grams. Armed, 19.74 grams. Defense, 5.53 grams. Okay, see the weight of this bay in general. 32.97 grams. Okay, I think there's heavier. Even dual air times, I think they're heavier bays, but definitely not bad. Alright, well, I mean for dual air. Unigress, 6.94 grams. Alright. Uh, upper, 20.19 grams. Jaggy, 5.33 grams. I'm kind of surprised upper weighs more than armed. It doesn't look like it, but it does. Not by so much, but 32.46 grams. <laughs> the base still weigh around the same anyway. Alrighty, that's fine. Now, let's move on to the fun part, the test battle. All right, got this Pro Series Stadium used for the test battles. Launch Orpheus. Three, two, one, let it. Alrighty. This went straight for the center, that's nice. Alright, you out of here. Let's launch Unicrest. Three, two, one, let it rip. Wow, look at it go. You're too slow! Right. Oh! Just... So, I think it makes sense to make these two bays battle each other first. Three, two, one, let it rip. Okay! Three, two, one, let it rip. Alright, 
Mucrest speeding up, but might not help it. I mean, maybe it will, but... Orpheus definitely dominated that one. Let's go ahead and start with the Orpheus thing. Jumbo Jumuntor. Three, two, one, let it go. Okay. Jumuntor is really good. So if Orpheus can beat it, that'd be pretty nice. Especially since that was good. Oh! Okay. Come on, Orpheus, can you do it? Come on. Ah, oh, so close, but still did very well considering that it's a defense type. It being that close to beating the stamina type like Jumentor, like dude. We need to win that out. Oh. oh my gosh! Oh, that would have been simultaneous, but Jumentor just came down back. Here. How about Hyrus? Three, two, one, let it go. Iris, you are not an attack type. Okay. There you go. Ooh. Come on, you please beat Iris. Just beat Iris, please. A draw? Okay. Three, two, one, let it go. Weak domination? Okay. Is it Siege Excalius? No. That's Surge Excalius. What is it? Xeno Excalius. How did I forget that? Whatever. Three, two, one, let No Excalius. The driver does not have a lot of stamina. It's not jagged. You can't just do that. I mean, unless you want to lose like that. Well, Orpheus wins that. 3, 2, 1, then it's It's so weird. Excellus can go so fast, but because of how the driver is, it runs out of stamina so quickly. Unlike Jaggy, we can go just as fast, but because it doesn't really have this weird rubberish plastic mix up shape, whatever, it lasts way long. Okay. Uh, so Orpheus pretty much proved that it's a pretty good bag. Pretty good. Uh, this stock is just pretty good for it. I'm gonna say, well, I won't judge it just yet. Go ahead and get Unicrest out there first. Put up against Jumantor as well. 3, 2, 1, let it go. Alright, Unicrest. Show Jumantor your true power. Please. If this is your true power, it's pretty underwhelming. Just hit the bay! Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's what you get. Three, two, one, let it go. There you go. Come on, you guys. <laughs> That's too bad. Okay, so Jumantor beat both of these guys. It's too good. Okay, all right. It's too good. Let's get. Honestly, I want to get Rockaboy in here. Three, two, one, let's go. I know I didn't put it up against Venus. I know I didn't put it up against Orpheus, but I do want to try. Okay. You got to get used to trying to launch these bays in the flower pattern. Oh gosh. Well, this is Hasbro's Rock and Roll we're talking about. I ain't, ain't we? <laughs> Alright. I'll give you, like, another shot. Do you want that? Get it! Oh. Well. I guess if you want to just... 
experience deja vu. Rockin' was gonna win. There's no way it's gonna lose. Uh, I take that back. I think Unicrest was like, ha, no face, spider. Yeah, I get it. Fengrip, three to one to the set. Jaggy was Jack. Unicrest beat it. Beat it! Come on. Beat it, please. You have upper. Yeah, there you go. Upper should give you like a bit more stamina, I think. Compared to the um, boost. Three, two, one, that it works. Come on, Unicraft, get a burst in it. Okay, technically that was a ring out, but. Okay. I mean, you, you won anyways. Please beat Hyrus. Please. And by beat, I mean burst. Three, two, one, the. Look, you beat it. You beat it. You bursted it. And you ended off the style. There you go. Spider stack. Hmm, start with Orpheus, 8 out of 10 for me, could have had a better disc, could have had a better driver, even during the dual layer times they did have better drivers than discs, however the stock they gave it is definitely not bad, as you know. so 8 out of 10, very good burst resistance, um, decent stock, so yeah, layer is really good, alright now, Unicrest, eh, I think Unicrest gets a 7, um, pretty decent attacker, layer is Decent, yeah. Jaggy, pretty good driver for it. Sure. Anyways, yeah, well I recommend this set. If you're still interested in getting dual layers nowadays, yes, I would say get this one, especially for the Orpheus, because that layer is solid. Like, beast. Like, you can make so many ridiculous combos out of it. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. Maybe I should make a ridiculous combo out of it. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure I will at one point, maybe for a video, but yeah. All right. Thank y'all for watching and keep playing.